Today we have a ticker timer problem and the question reads The tape in the figure below was obtained from an experiment using a ticker timer of frequency 50 Hz. The tape was pulled by a trolley, so we have the diagram as shown. If the trolley that was pulling the tape was accelerating, then part A show on the diagram the direction of acceleration of the trolley and then part B calculate the acceleration of the trolley. So the first thing we need to note is that for each interval the time is the same. So we are told that the frequency of the ticker timer is 50 hertz. So each interval here represents one complete cycle. That means from this frequency we can determine for one complete cycle the time taken which is obtained by 1 over the frequency which is 1 over 50 and that is 0 0.02 seconds. So for each interval the time is 0 0.02 seconds but look at the spacings. In the beginning it is 2 centimeters and finally when we get to this point it is 8 centimeters. So here it's a shorter distance but within 0 0.02 seconds and when you come to this end it's a longer distance 8 centimeters but the time is still the same time. So that means for the shorter distance within the same time the speed or velocity is lower than for the longer distance within the same time. So since the velocity is changing as you move towards the right, so that means the tape must have been pulled in this direction. So the trolley that was pulling the tape was accelerating in this direction. So that is the direction of the trolley. So for part B, calculate the acceleration of the tro trolley. So acceleration is usually given by the final velocity minus initial velocity all over the time. And the final velocity is the velocity determined during the last 8 centimeters interval of which for this case we'll have the displacement there which is 8 centimeters and 8 centimeters I wish to have it in meters in the SI unit so that is 0 0.08 meters all over the time the time interval is still 0 0.02 we've determined so we have 0 0.02 so these meters and this is seconds and that is 4 meters per second we also have the final velocity u so we can relate this as follows so this is v and u is the velocity during the first two centimeters so that is displacement over the time taken and the displacement is two centimeters I'll express that in SI units so that is 0 0.02 over the time taken 0 0.02 and that is one meter per second. So the next thing is to determine the time taken. The time taken. So for the time taken we will determine the times from the middle of the first interval up to the middle of the last interval. So from the middle to this point here we have a half the period and the period we know is 0 0.02 so this is a half I can write there half and from here also we have a half the period and then these other ones are full so we can count how many are they. So we have one, two, three, four, five, plus these two halves. So that gives us six. So we are going to have six intervals times 
0 0.02 seconds for each interval. So that gives us a total of 0 0.12 seconds. So with this, we can now get the acceleration. So acceleration of the trolley is final velocity, which is 4 meters per second, minus the initial one, 1 meter per second, over the time taken, 0 0.12 seconds. And that worked out is 3 over 0 0.12, and that is... 25 meters per square second so that is it for this question i want to thank you for watching hope to see you in the next video